Incredible Bakers. When you want popcorn at home, you usually have to buy one of those microwavable packets. But did you know you can actually make your own homemade microwave popcorn using just a brown paper bag and some popcorn kernels? That is it. And I'm gonna show you how to make different flavors, including caramel corn. So let's get started. Popcorn is a fantastic snack food. It doesn't contain any fat, it's inexpensive, and it's quick to cook. The best thing about making it yourself is that you can add in any ingredients that you like. It is the ultimate meaning of the word fast food. Okay, so I'm ready to show you how easy it is to make your own microwave popcorn. All you need is a brown paper bag and some popcorn kernels. That is it. So just stand your paper bag upright and then pour in your popcorn kernels. Now what you want to do is just gently roll the top of the bag to make sure it's nice and sealed. And what we're trying to do here is keep in all the steam that happens when the popcorn is cooking. And there you have it. Your own homemade bag of microwave popcorn. Now this guy is ready to be cooked off. My microwave is 1200 watts, so I'm cooking my popcorn for 1 minute 40 to 1 minute 50 seconds roughly. Your timing may vary depending on the wattage of your microwave. You'll know when your popcorn is almost done because you won't hear it popping as much. Usually I give a second in between pops and that's when I know it's done. Our microwave popcorn is done and now for the moment of truth, just in case you didn't believe me. Just look at this white fluffy popcorn, it smells fantastic. Can you believe that we made this in a microwave with just a brown bag and we didn't need to add any extra fat to it? It is incredible. Now I'm gonna take this popcorn and show you how you can make different delicious flavors. To make traditional buttered popcorn, all you do is take some melted butter and pour it into your bag of popcorn. Then give your bag a bit of a shake and then you add in your salt. You add your salt after the butter so the salt has something to stick to. Give it another nice big shake up. Make sure all the butter and salt is all mixed up. Oh my gosh, this is just like cinema popcorn. You could actually bring this bag to the cinema with you. Okay, now that we have the traditional flavor, we're gonna move on to more of a sophisticated flavor. This next one is a flavorful Parmesan and rosemary popcorn. Just like before, we're gonna pour in some melted butter all around and then give it a shake so it gets on all the popcorn. Nice. Into our popcorn, I'm gonna add in some dried Parmesan. It's really good flavor. A little bit of dried mustard for extra flavor and heat. Some finely chopped fresh rosemary. Goes really well with the cheese. And then of course, some salt. Then just shake the bag so all the flavors get to know each other in there. This popcorn tastes so good. The rosemary and the cheese and the little bit of salt. It has such a nice savory flavor to it. But I'm not gonna fill up on this popcorn because next we are going to make caramel corn in the microwave. It is so fantastic and crispy. You're not even gonna believe it. In a bowl, we're gonna add in butter, brown sugar, and maple syrup. We're gonna pop this guy in the microwave until the sugar dissolves and the butter melts and it actually starts to bubble up a bit. While your mix is still hot out of the microwave, add in your salt, vanilla extract, and baking soda. And then whisk all of these ingredients together. Here I have a new bag of freshly popped popcorn. I'm just gonna take my caramel and pour it all over the popcorn. Make sure you get it all around the bag. Then take a spatula and mix up your popcorn really well so that you make sure that all the popcorn gets covered in caramel. Okay, all of our popcorn is covered in caramel. So now we are gonna pop this guy in the microwave, not into the oven like you might have been thinking, back into the microwave. We're gonna cook it a little bit, then we're gonna go and stir it really well, make sure all the caramel is on the popcorn, pop it back in the microwave and keep on cooking and stirring until it comes out golden brown. You can find all of my recipes, including this popcorn on biggerbolderbaking.com. Our caramel corn is done and I'm really excited to show you how it turned out. Check this out. Can you believe that? Can you believe we made this in a microwave? It is beautiful, golden, caramelly, and it's even crispy. Like, it just astonishes me that you can make this in a microwave. Now, for your caramel corn, you want to get this lovely golden brown color, but just be very careful that you don't go too dark or you'll actually burn your popcorn. Whether you prefer sweet, salty, or even somewhere in between, there's a popcorn flavor here for everyone. I really hope you try them out. If you haven't already done so, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here every Thursday for more Bigger Bolder Baking. Take one.